Hi, this. Hi, everyone. How are you today? Welcome back to the channel. Benidorm by Anna, and of course, it's me, Anna, with you here. And today, I bring you the latest update on the situation here in Spain and our sunny, lovely Benidorm's region. Today, I'm on the terrace at home because we had to do a lot of things today. It was very intense and interesting morning we finally picked up our car uh, from um, outside alicante it's approximately one and a half like one hour something away from our home so we had a quite a long drive but it's fine we're at home now and this is why i am not able to go outside because it's too warm on the sun and i need to stay in the shade but in any case news are here news will be today so let's check what's happening uh, first of all, about the situation, I want to say that finally the experts say that the situation is getting stable here, uh, which is just amazing news. We knew that it kind of might happen, uh, but they've said that for the last 24 hours, we've had 26,399 new cases confirmed. During the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, there was 61,000 something, slightly more than 61,000, which is like 30,000 each day more or less but here it's 26,000 already and the index this is the most important probably indicator or in terms of what's happening and if the situation is getting better or not because um, yesterday for the weekend they said that we were on the 700 cases per every 100,000 people this is the index for 14 days okay because there's the other one for seven days but we're not touching that one so the index yesterday was 700 today it's only 702 so it only went up by just two points which is just nothing it's 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 basically like nothing like it remains stable almost um because previously the index was like going up by 22 points 26 22 26 but right now only by two which means that the situation is getting stable uh, and hopefully it will stay this way definitely that will be like the best news ever so uh in terms of restrictions they remain more or less the same there is a night curfew night lockdown in several regions if you want to know which ones they are check yesterday's news there i give all the details when we talk about the situation but i want to talk about the thing that we have in galicia which is north spain this is the only region here in spain so far okay and why i say so far you'll get it now when i'll continue uh, so this is the only region so far that has um, like obligatory certificates uh, needed when you are going towards the bar, restaurant, cafeteria, anywhere like to hosteleria, so called here in Spain. Okay, uh, so they decided by themselves that they is it's like a must. You need to present the certificate, like a PCR test, antigen. Um, vaccination that you've had already the virus and you're negative like things like that you need to present something uh, to be able to stay in in like bars and restaurants and in cafeterias uh, so that's the only region so far okay but Balearic and Canary Islands after Galicia had it like legalized after they've said that it's legal to do so Balearic and Canary Islands they both decided it's quite a good option and that they are thinking of putting the same measure in the island uh, on the island so it's not confirmed just yet okay we don't know when it's going to be happening and if it eventually will be happening but they say that they are quite interested in making the same measures work in the uh bo in both islands like Balearic and canarian uh, just because they want the situation to get better and uh, detect um uh, like cases with no symptoms uh, what's happening with the rest of the regions uh, if they are planning to adopt this measure or not well for example we don't know about all of them what i can say is that madrid catalonia and valencian region they did pronounce themselves regarding this measure and it's a very good news that valencian region finally has probably listened to the experts uh, and they've said all three of these regions, they said that they've contacted the Minister of Health um, and they've asked her um, legally, officially, 
uh, to um, take the situation into her hands and the government, the Ministry of Health, to decide if this certificate, if the need of any kind of proof will be necessary to go to bars and restaurants, but in whole Spain. They say that um, regions cannot take this, um, like, they cannot decide for themselves. They need um, someone to protect them from behind and they need it to be the decision of the government, not of each autonomic region separately. So, uh, due to this, they said that uh, they are not going to put any kind of measures regarding this theme. So, just uh, like asking PCR tests, antigen and etc. Uh, for people until they will hear what the Minister of Health has to say. Uh, so, they leave everything in her hands uh, and everything will from now on depend on this. So, if she will go out on the official press conference and she will say, uh, the government is not putting up this measure, so you will not need to ask for the tests when people go to bars and restaurants, then that's just perfect. If she decides, on contrary, that um, it's necessary thing, it's a must, uh, then um, we will probably need to do testing to go somewhere to eat or have a drink. But, as I already said, looking at the situation, okay, uh, and what is happening with the index getting stabilized, I, this is just my opinion, okay, it's not something official, it's just what I think. Um, like, looking at all the situation that we've had during these almost two years, I would say that we will not have these measures in place, like they will not be put in place in general in all Spain. Just because cases are slowly stabilizing, the index is slowly stabilizing and um, it will be just massive disaster because people will not want to go outside. Like if you go out, it's just to have fun. It's to stay somewhere, like enjoy your favorite meal outside in the bar, in the restaurant, in the cafeteria, uh, have your favorite drink outside, just enjoying the beach and the sea views. But it, people will just not go out. They will just ask maybe a takeaway. That will be the maximum that they would do uh, because it does not make any sense to go somewhere and you would like um, make the extra effort, extra payment to make the PCR. If you have the vaccination, that's perfectly fine. Like you can just show your vaccination, that's okay. But for those who still did not have it, like what will you do? And for families, for example, adults are vaccinated and teenagers are still not. So what to do in this case? Um, a lot of uh, owners of bars and restaurants and cafeterias, they basically say that they are afraid that if this measure will be um, put in place, then it will be just devastating for this sector, for our economy in our region. So they hope it's not going to be the case. And looking at the index and at the general situation in the country, I personally think that the minister will not take this responsibility and will not say that it's obligatory but we'll see what's going to happen once i will have some changes once we will know some changes either it's going to be a yes or a no i'm going to let you know definitely in the next news update the uh next thing that, that i wanted to share with you it's a very interesting thing for those who are visiting our lovely region in september at the end of september so from 24th until 27th of september we will have the third edition of so-called alicante gastronomica okay i'm gonna put you here the full name uh, on the screen and this is like an event which is made in alicante uh, like um congress hall like a big congress hall where usually all these events are made um, and it will be like an event where all the most important chefs that have michelin stars uh, there will be approximately 30 of them they will be gathering together with the chefs that have repsol stars because you know there are several um ways to um to say that the chef is has like a very high level uh, one of them is michelin star and the other one is repsol uh, sun these are not stars they're like sun uh, so more than 50 suns of repsol and more than 30 michelin stars will be there which is just amazing these will be like the best chefs of all entire spain gathered in one single place 
there will be um, more than 250 expos, like exposition tables, where these chefs will be situated. And it's not only they're going to be talking about the food and it's all national food and especially local one from our region, not only from the mountains, the same mountain and a seafood. OK, so it's going to be a little bit of both. And the best thing that what they'll do is that they will show you how to cut Spanish ham for example, they'll show you how to prepare traditional Spanish paella and all different variations of traditional Spanish dishes with local products. And the best thing, of course, is that you will be able to try it out. Um, like this is the best thing ever when you go to these events, when you can try what is offered. Um, all the most popular national products will be there. They will make some show cooking. Um, I have here all the details of what they will be making. So they'll be making some show cooking, they'll be making some contests, they will explain you how to cook and teach you how to do specific things. For example, how to cut traditionally Spanish ham, which not a lot of people, I must say, know how to do correctly. Uh, and also, of course, you can try it out and you can buy some specific products, um, like in small portions, but you can still buy it just in case you want to bring it with you which is just amazing. So if you are visiting our area in these dates from 24th until 27th of September and you will be in Alicante or Benidorm and you want to go to this um, gastronomy like um, Congress, you can do so. They still do not sell the tickets. I've seen it online on their website. If you put that like Alicante Gastronomica 2021 online, you will go to their official website and they have there to purchase tickets but tickets are still not on sale i'm sure they should be there shortly because there's not much time left so if you want just go and check it out maybe you will be interested um i'm not sure if we will go or not maybe i will but we'll still see on what's going to be happening but if you want to check the website for as soon as the tickets will be available just purchase them because these type of things they get crowded and um, booked fully booked very very fast so these are the news for today um, and about the Spanish weather just want to say that those who are coming here in these days or those who are already here you can actually see that the temperatures are very mild the um, in general the weather is very nice right now we've had one day of intense clouds it was raining in Alicante like pouring rain but right now it's stable once again as nothing ever happened as you can see on this picture uh, what we will have are some clouds on the north parts of Spain and probable rain like very very slight rain uh, in some points of the day and in some areas but not more than that this will continue up until uh, today and tomorrow and on friday there's going to be some more clouds on the north and some rain there but it's just a typical weather that you have on the north part of spain which they are basically used to that's just a normal typical thing here um, and our region will still remain sunny, very warm and very nice without even a single cloud in the sky. What about the temperatures? Uh, today already we have quite a few alerts. Well, only three of them. It's not much uh, due to high temperatures, uh, but it's nothing major. It's not like the ones we've had during the weekend when we had 42 degrees here. No, not even close to that. So this is just amazing. And, for example, these alerts will be in Andalusia, which is South Spain, um, Castilla-La Mancha and Madrid, which are in the center of Spain. The rest will be perfectly fine, at least for today. Tomorrow we'll see. Uh, so, in Alicante and in Benidorm, we will be having today a very mild, nice, cozy temperature of 29 degrees. Just amazing temperature. In Barcelona, it's going to be 28. In Granada and Jaén, 37. In Malaga 31, in Sevilla 38, in Madrid 35, in Murcia 33, in Balearic Islands 34, in Canary and slightly less between 25 and 29 because you know that islands, they depend on which island it is and they have slightly different temperatures. And in Valencia, it's going to be even less um, hot than here there they will only have 27 degrees today but still as I've said it's amazing to stay outside because um, we've had a few days with extreme heat and having this like such a nice 
pleasant mild weather is just amazing because you even have more energy when it's not as hot outside as it was previous days so this is what's happening by the way uh, today I'll have another video on my vlogs channel Benny Dom by Anna vlogs so go there if you want to check it um, it will go out at 6 p.m. Spanish time and this will be the video about what's for breakfast what do we normal family living here in Spain multicultural family as well I must say because I'm Russian and my Spanish uh, my Spanish is Spanish my husband is Spanish um, so I will be showing you during the whole entire week from Wednesday to Wednesday what do we eat for breakfast so if you're interested go to my other channel and don't forget to subscribe I wish you a lovely and positive day of today and I'm gonna see you tomorrow with the new interesting video on the channel. Bye!